Garen, you know, Rob mentions, you know, players sort of getting pushed to burn out. Um, it does, and you look at how New Zealand have that central contracting system, does it essentially come down to that, just the way that we manage our players and the way New Zealand do it is, is obviously what gives them the edge. Yeah, I think amongst other reasons, that could be one that gives them a bit of a the edge over the other playing nations around the world, not just, you know, South Africa. You know, we also just have to mention that New Zealand don't pick anyone based overseas as well. Mm. So you sort of, you know, take the pounds or, or pick, you know, the all black jersey. It's not, you know, it's not both. Mm. So I'm not sure actually in this day and age how many South Africans would actually pick the green and gold over the, the yen or the, the, the euro or the pound. So, you know, that would be interesting to see if we sort of had this blanket ban on picking overseas based players, because I, I believe there were as many as five in the last match we played, which is a fair percentage, you know. Yeah. Um, so, New Zealand, I think we're trying to at some point copy um, what, they, <coughs> what they've been doing, especially at sort of at super rugby mm -hmm. level, where everyone sort of plays the same style of rugby, which I think is key. You know, we, we're talking about, we want to copy the Lions style of play, but it's not the sort of style of play that the Springers are going to easily play when you throw in some Stormers and some Bulls and Sharks and the odd um, free, um, Cheetahs player as well. So I think from a much lower level than international level, New Zealand players and teams and coaches are all on the same page. They will sort of buy into the same I mm. ideas that um, coach Steve Hansen of the national team wants to implement. And when a player comes in, it's like he fits in seamlessly. It's not mm. like I've never been there. I don't know what you guys are trying to do. I want to play this way or 10-man rugby or 15-man rugby. Yeah. Everyone seems to be as fit as the next player. Everyone seems to know exactly what to do. And it seems to work incredibly well for them. You know, you, off, you drop like an Aaron Smith and you bring in TJ Perinara and suddenly there's seemingly no difference to the, the, their style. Mm. Whereas we, if we, if Faf is dropped um, for whatever reason, then, you know, who is the next um, player? Really, Page, is he good enough? Should we move France or Hoka to the scrum off? It's, it's just seems a little bit of a mess as soon as one player um, pull, uh, pulls out, always dropped. So I, th I think Alex Kutsia would love a sort of New Zealand style of system, um, whether he gets it any time soon, whether he gets it even in his tenure as mm -hmm. the national coach, I highly doubt. Um, this in, this in Darb, I think, will, will help in certain respects, but it's, you know, I don't know what we gain from a whole lot of past players, coaches, all sort of having their said why the yeah. Springboks are so bad. You know, I don't know if after you've heard the sixth or seventh um, ex-player or coach come in, I don't yeah. know if you, it, you gain anything from that. So it'll be very interesting. I think Nick Miller is probably right in turning it down. He doesn't believe it's going to work. Um, Andre Markov apparently not coming either. Jake White, he's overseas, I doubt he's coming. And so many of the South African voter, um, super rugby coaches are so young, young and inexperienced. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, with, with respect to a Nollis Maria and a Franco Smith, mm -hmm. I'm not too sure what they actually Will add. someone like um, John Mitchell be there? I mean, are they, do they have any I, sort of international input? I, I don't think, as far as I know, that, that he's no. been invited or, or, or he's coming. You know, he is obviously back and forth in the country yeah. now at the head, head of um, USA Rugby. But I'm not too sure whether he's been invi invited. And this is very much an Alice Goodseer off his bat. He sort of came up with this idea. So you know, credit to him for that. It's quite a brave move. Obviously, mm. you know, you can have a go at him indirectly or, or to his face, I guess, after nine matches in charge. You know, saying what's going wrong, you know, with him or his assistant coaches as well. If they're all there, it's going to be difficult, you know, in front yeah. of them just having a go at them. But Brendan Finch, I think he's pretty diplomatic. I think he's a good choice to sort of lead this in Darver. Um, he's probably got some outspoken... And also quite di direct. Yeah, 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 I'm sure he'll have some views of, of, his, yeah. of his own and what could, what could help. But it remains to be seen. Two days, I believe mm -hmm. they're going to have another in Darver over fitness in the, in the weeks to come. So, you know, I'm not sure what can change between now and the end of year two, which is now in a couple of weeks away only. I think this is sort of looking ahead at next year, getting mm. ready for Super Rugby, how Alice Kutsi would like all the players to play, the six franchises to play in Super Rugby next year, and then come June, July next year when we're playing more in mid-year internationals. Yeah. Hopefully we see a, a, a difference, but you know, the jury's out on that for sure. Mm. Just quickly, uh, Rob, looking at the Curry Cup semi-final results this weekend, again, um, things seem a little bit skewed when you've got um, the Lions, who were so great during Super Rugby, getting absolutely hammered by the Cheetahs. Um, what, what did you take from this weekend's Curry Cup results? Look, the, the Lions were pretty awful. I, I, I think they, they quite genuinely had a bad day at the office. Mm. Uh, I think that they're better than the, the personnel, that they, even that they put out. You know, a lot of people said, well, they've lost a, a core of players to, to Japan uh, now, so there was no Warren Whiteley mm. to lead them. Uh, various others, Yako Creel, a lot of the dynamos from their Super Rugby campaign. 
many of whom will be quite jaded now by the end of the year anyway, I would think, mm. uh, were, were not available. And um, Johan Ackermann has, has managed to, to breed a, a sort of a, a good level of depth there. So I think a lot of people would have been very surprised by, by the results. Uh, even the team he put out, some people would have thought, well, you know, they'll give the Cheetahs a much better run than, than we all uh, saw eventually. Um, but I mean, 55-17, uh, mm. it, was, it was quite a hammering and they were sort of outlined, if you like, um, mm. Uh, the Cheetahs kind of played a, um, a sort of vibrant, up-tempo brand of rugby that, uh, that we've got accustomed to from the Lions. And uh, so they, they, they got a nasty dose of their own medicine. Um, the other game, um, expected results, but good game. Um, Western Province uh, through the kitchen sink uh, with their sort of slightly more lightweight side. Mm -hmm. um, I think we all thought that suspected that they were going to struggle at Loftus. Um, and the Bulls, uh, who did finish second in ordinary season anyway, so you, you've got basically the, the most fitting uh, yeah. final. Um, the, the two best sides uh, will, will contest it. Cheetahs obviously finished runaway top, so it's, it's highly appropriate that the final is held in Bloemfontein. And I think it could be a good game. I, I think that um, the, the Bulls are capable of giving them a, a serious match, but um, Cheetahs, I think a lot of people will, will have them installed as favourites. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the Cheetahs are going to be a, a, a massive success suddenly in Super Rugby next year because we've got to really uh, 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 make concession for the fact that uh, the Curry Cup really is the sort of uh, sloppy seconds of South African rugby these days. That's the sad, the sad truth. Or thirds, really. If you look at international Super Rugby Curry Cup, it, it falls quite a distant third and, and an ever more distant third. So uh, it's, not, it's not as though we should be... Uh, you know, whooping it up about how the cheetahs are going to be a, a brave new world for for our game, and um, that's not going to happen. Right, James. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, Nick.